Welcome to the most successful con in modern earth science. Not fraud exactly, more like institutional sleight of hand. 300 miles off Oregon's coast sits the crown jewel of volcanic surveillance capitalism, Axial Seamount. You've never heard of it, which is precisely the point. While public attention fixates on Yellowstone's apocalyptic potential, a consortium of universities and federal agencies has quietly constructed the world's most sophisticated volcanic monitoring apparatus around this underwater nobody. The setup reads like corporate espionage, millions in NSF funding, real-time data cables snaking across the Pacific floor, seismometer networks that would make the Pentagon jealous, all focused on a geological feature that erupts like clockwork and hurts nobody. William Chadwick from Oregon State has been running this operation for three decades, he speaks about Axial Seamount with the casual confidence of someone holding insider information, which functionally, he is. The Seamount is the most active submarine volcano in the region, Chadwick explains, but his institutional backing tells the real story. Oregon State University, University of Washington, NOAA, the U.S. Geological Survey, they've all bought into this underwater theater. The pattern is embarrassingly predictable. Axial inflates like a balloon, earthquakes spike, then it erupts. 1998, 2011, 2015. Each time Chadwick's team issues predictions with the precision of a Swiss chronometer, each time they're vindicated, but prediction accuracy isn't the real product here. Institutional credibility is. Here's where the story pivots from curious to calculated. The consortium didn't choose Axial despite its harmlessness, they chose it because of it. If you were on a boat above the volcano, you wouldn't know at all that it had erupted, admits Scott Nooner from UNC Wilmington. That's not a limitation, that's the entire business model. Think about the institutional mechanics at play. 